If there's anything I've learned from my past two trips into hell, is that the newer Asylum films are far worse than the older ones since they blatantly put a lot less effort in now that they have all their Sharknado money. At least when comparing Atlantic Rim to Transmorphers. So naturally today we're looking at one of their newest ones. Oh god help me. Hornet. Because originality is dead and the asylum killed it. It goes without saying that this is a ripoff of 2018's Bumblebee, which proved to be one of my favorite movies in recent years. There you go, there's your review. Please stop asking me. And since people have been really enjoying my suffering in these videos, I figure I take a look at one more. Just, just one more. That's all. <laughs> one more. I'm only doing this one because this time I only have to watch one movie. I can do this. I can do this. Don't do it for you, do it for them. When an alien race invades and begins to brainwash humans to carry out acts of destruction, the rest of humanity must rely on an untested giant robot to save the Earth. Ah, oh, kill me now. Also, before we get into it, no, it's not connected to any of the other Transmorphers movies. I don't know, I guess they couldn't decide whether they wanted it to be a prequel or a reboot, so they were just kind of really vague about it. So in our first minute, we get exposition via a news report where some lady gets interviewed and claims that a spaceship abducted some hiker. Naturally, no one believes her until it randomly appears out of nowhere. See, I told you! That's what took that! <sighs> I don't know why I thought the CG would be improved. I mean, it's only been 10 years. He's, he's rolling! Oh, hey, look, this movie's so bad the government tried to hide it from the world. Now, it didn't take me very long to suspect that there was something strange about this movie, so I headed to IMDb to confirm. And yep, it's a found footage film. For some reason. Yeah, cuz Bumblebee was so good because it was in first person. But you know what? It's a nice change of pace. I'll, I'll take it. I mean, pretty successful found footage movies in the past had managed to use the style to hide their smaller budgets, and for some it's worked really well. But this is the asylum we're talking about, come on, what do we expect? We get introduced to our main cast who allude to having built something important. Well, I wonder if it has anything to do with the giant robot on the cover. We have to borrow some things from the department. Don't get <laughs> yeah. mad. We'll bring it back safe and sound. We promise. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we man. promise. And look, credit where credit is due, the acting is a lot better so far. So far. We had so many things okay. to do too, Luke. What did you think we were doing? Honest mistake. We can't right. get right, we're to here. We're, we're here now. We're, we're off schedule anyways. You know, I try to give them one compliment. With most movies like this, because it's filmed from one of the characters' perspective, the dialogue is meant to be a lot more natural. But in this movie, acting natural just means that all of the actors talk over one another. You guys okay. seeing this? This the door? Door? Yeah. Might just be the wind. I think, Do we have I think, enough? Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Which Arguably might be more realistic, but it doesn't look very good when you put it in a movie. But hey, I'm no film expert over here. I'm not here to critique the workings of this movie. I'm just here to tell you that the CGI looks bad over and over. They also add these shitty camera glitch effects to try and add to the realism, I guess. But by this point, the cameras aren't even damaged yet, so it's kind of just out of place. Real cameras don't do that unless you've dropped yours off a goddamn bridge. Fuck! And if you slow down the footage to look at them, all they've done is paste a PNG image on the screen. Come on, even I can do a better glitch effect than that. Hire me, Asylum. So this girl, Helen, introduces us to our wonderful group of characters, Luke and Chloe, the crew who built this mysterious device. She then does a vlog to record the progress of what they call Project Hornet. That's right, she's an epic YouTube vlogger. These following video logs will serve as documentation for Project Hornet. Hornet. What's up guys, it's your boy Helen, back here with the epic vlog, make sure to smash that like button. Let me introduce you to Hornet. Yep, no, it still looks like shit. God, God damn it, Asylum. And of course he doesn't look like the robot on the cover. Why on earth would you make a poster that actually represents the film you've made? <laughs> That'd be crazy. But CREATE is such a boring acronym, so we just affectionately call him Hornet. I mean, just look at his paint job. It wasn't intentional, I can assure you. <laughs> I feel like there's some projection there. No, you see, we made this movie at the same time Hasbro happened to put one out, okay? It was an accident. Say hi, Hornet. Hello. And he talks. He talks. Never in my life have I wanted the small yellow robot to not have a voice, but here we are. Okay, well, what are we waiting for? Let's do it. I know. Yeah. Mm. Yay. <laughs> there was no script, was there? There was no script. This is all improv, isn't it? So we come to Luke, who's been restrained in a dark room and is being interrogated. Something you are going to see a lot of in this movie. Hello? Hello? Why am I here? Tell me what I'm doing here! 
<laughs> yep, it's an Asylum movie. Non-linear storytelling, I'm impressed. Once again, nothing original, but for the Asylum, it's a massive leap forward, gotta say. No, I'm kidding, it's clearly just here to pad for runtime with very vague statements that intentionally don't tell us anything. I believe that you and your associates were witness to an extraordinary event. The only information we're really given is that this guy is a part of the government, and he's interviewing Luke about something bad that happened with Hornet. As I said, they tell us nothing, and they know that they're not. In spite of the threats against him, Luke stands strong and doesn't give in. No, not a chance. I ain't telling you shit. <laughs> Started with an experiment. Goddamn hero, that's what he is. And now we're back to the flashback, where we get to see Hornet in action. And wow, look at him go. Oh, someone's excited. Okay. I told you loosening his joints was great. Yeah, there was no script for this, was there? They do a bunch of field tests with him, the first of which just involves him running around for no reason. Coming soon to PlayStation 2, Hornet the Game. <laughs> Oh my god. It is such a low blow at this point, but it's so bad. God, I hope you all die. I am so not ready for an hour and 20 minutes of- He grabs her right out of the air! This guy, I just- Wow, what a powerful performance. Who played him? Okay, I guess it's gotta be this guy. Cool, so how many Oscars does he have? How many Oscars do they all have? So then Hornet detects someone approaching, so they hide him behind a tree. The giant robot behind the tree. A park ranger shows up and tells them that they're trespassing on private property. What are y'all doing here? Uh, we, um, uh, uh bathroom break. Hey, what is this is not your personal party playground where you can just come and do drugs or whatever it is you please. <laughs> Sir, we don't do drugs. You sure about that? So we don't have any drugs. So even though the guy was clearly peeing, I mean, that's a perfectly reasonable excuse to be breaking the law, the ranger tells them to piss off. So they leave poor Hornet all by himself at that tree. Poor guy. And now we're back to interrogation. Mr. Sullivan, you graduated from high school with a 2.0 average. Now someone like you... Is that university building robots? Wait, is that meant to be bad? Oh shit, I have to check my grades. Screw that. Well, you are screwed, Mr. Sullivan. You can just feel the tension from this amazing dialogue. Does anyone else feel threatened as well? You talking about Chloe? Is she okay? What you're talking about? I can kill you! Oh my god, it's just so boring. This goes on forever. How long did this hornet take to construct? few months. Wait, it only took them a few months to make Hornet? Dude, I can't even finish a TV show in a few months. I'm calling BS on that. We're back to these three in the car and they nearly run some dude over. Is he looking? Why is he just standing there? Sir, I am so sorry. Did you hit him? Are you okay? Are you okay? Helen, careful. Oh my god, is he holding a hatchet? Wow, real like human that. acting. Look, 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 look. Oh shit! Whoa, no one told me this was a horror movie. Oh, I'm putting- Oh shit! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Also, the audio loops here. They're just staring at me! They're just staring at me! I didn't edit that, that's actually in the movie. The attention to detail here is impeccable, really. So then one of the zombie things, Falcon punches the window so they get the hell out of there. Wait, what was this movie meant to be about again? Oh my god! They retreat to a cabin and take their time processing whatever the hell just happened like real humans. They're all messed up, it's like something is going on, like an epidemic? This has very quickly turned into the Blair Witch Project. The Bee Witch Project. Para Hornet activity. <gasps> knock knock, Helen Martin. <gasps> it's a boy Hornet! Faster, faster, Luke, close the door! Sit down! Hornet found maker. Yeah, okay, I take it back. This is the scariest movie I've ever seen. And then for no reason, all three of them are super mean to Hornet. Where were you? <laughs> we put you in one spot, we told you to stay right your... there. Help, why, why did you, you help us? Man, why is everyone gonna bully the poor guy? He's doing his best. Then the ranger shows up and tells them that people have been going missing and coming back insane like the guys they ran into. I like how he doesn't even question the giant robot. And then, yay, another boring interrogation scene. Here you go again. With your failed threats. No, when I threaten you, you'll know it. You know, if I were you, I would be scared shitless right now. I'd be peeing down my pants. I'd be so worried about what was coming. I wouldn't know what to do. I would be so scared. I'm good.
I, I'm not. Oh yeah, and then he electrocutes him. Let me know when you're ready. No. <laughs> Why? Why does that stuff up the camera? We're back to these guys and they get attacked again by the evil zombie people from before. And you know what that means? Shaky cam! <laughs> Thankfully, before I vomit up any more intestines, we get another interrogation scene. But this time it's with Helen because Luke is dead or something. I'm not saying another word until I speak to my lawyer. Let's say we're in a magic land where lawyers don't exist. Ah, he's done it folks! He's beaten the legal system! Then these guys get attacked again. You, uh, noticing the pattern in this movie? Damn, Hornet doesn't fuck around. Hornet, pow! Hold on, why are they even still filming at this point? And oh boy, just what I wanted, another exciting action sequence we don't get to see that's 90% screaming. And then it gets dark. Ooh, now it really is a spooky, scary movie. Ah! But it's okay, it's just the park ranger. But it turns out he's one of them! Oh no! And then the alien ship fucking kills Hornet. Or turns him evil or something, I don't know. As it turns out, they built him with the ability to shoot laser blasts out of his hands. Non-lethal laser blasts. Right. God, Ellen, I hate you. I know. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Breathe. I don't know who's going to see this recording or if um, anyone's going to see this, but... Guys, you'll not believe what we just saw in that forest back there. Oh my god, guys. We couldn't even stop him from getting into the wrong hands. <laughs> Aliens. What are you gonna do? Movie quote of the century right there. And then because the Blair Witch parallels weren't obvious enough, they get chased by Evil Hornet in the darkness. And it's really intense and spooky. I can't see shit, what is this? And then the next five minutes is just this. It's just cut to them, cut to first person, cut to close up, cut to them. Like we get it. Why are you doing this, Hornet? Look what you're doing to us. Honestly, I'm rooting for Hornet here. They treated him like shit throughout the whole movie. He doesn't even need the alien possession as an excuse. He has more than enough reason to want to kill these assholes. This this is quality entertainment right here. Just shake the camera in pitch black darkness and show absolutely nothing but screaming. I'm just so entertained right now, it's hard to think of anything to say really. And then in our last dramatic scene, Helen gets abducted by Hornet so the other two go to track her down and attempt to reboot Evil Hornet while the camera gives the audience a seizure. And yay, our boy is back. That was easy. And then you just key blast those mofos. I like how this one here very clearly hits him, but the guy didn't go down, so the editor just had no idea what to do. And then because Hornet is just as desperate for this movie to end as we are, he goes and guns down the alien ship. And Helen decides now is the time to record one final vlog. I'm Helen Martin. I'm here with my friends Chloe Coyle and Luke Sullivan. What and guys, don't forget we got some new merch in the store. Make sure to check it out. Oh. <gasps> Yes, Hornet! Are we done? Is the nightmare finally over? And then we get one last interrogation scene where we get the movie's big plot twist. I'm on this, Martin. Tell him. Some of Hornet's parts, the professor didn't build on his own. He said he acquired some. From where? The technology was so far more advanced than anything that I had ever seen before. That's bullshit! Helen? That's right, Hornet was an alien robot the whole time. Wow, how surprising. No way these three idiots didn't build a laser shooting robot all by themselves. But just when you think it's over, this movie has one last trick up its sleeve. Hornet? Oh. Ah! Knock knock, Helen Martin. Hornet! Hornet has come to save friend. You know what? I take it back. This is the best movie ever made. Hornet, what is your primary directive? Primary directive? Saving you assholes. Masterpiece! Masterpiece! This movie was the most boring thing I've ever seen. Holy shit. There was genuinely a whole 10 minutes of the movie where I wrote no notes down for this video because absolutely nothing of note happens. It's just talking. It's so lazy for 10 minutes. <laughs> this is the Asylum's laziest film yet. There's barely any sets, if any, barely any characters. The found footage style is nauseating and a perfect excuse for them to not have to put in any effort this time. And a majority of the movie is padded by these awful interrogation scenes. It's far more competent than any of the other ones we've seen, I'll give them that, but it is so goddamn boring. It's like 50% these stupid scenes and they are so goddamn boring. Shit, I'm an engineering pro. 
I don't need school to tell me that. But you got this thing to fly. So what? And with that, I think I am definitely done with the asylum. I covered all the ones I was really curious about, and as for the rest of them, I'm pretty sure the posters were a lot more entertaining than the actual movies will be. I don't think my mind or my body can take any more. I mean, unless you guys want me to cover yeah. Nazis at the center of the earth, which is a real movie that exists. I don't see YouTube letting me monetize that one, though. Thanks for watching, and you all owe me therapy. <laughs> Also check out Twitter and P.O. Box. Uh...